Welcome to the Power of Your Mind podcast. I'm Victoria Gallagher, your host. Have you been attempting to use law of attraction or hypnosis to attract financial abundance, a soulmate, or career success? Would you like to be happy, motivated, and successful, have better health, enjoy more fulfilling relationships? overcome struggle and gain mastery over your life, then join me on this amazing self-help podcast where you'll unleash the power of your mind. I'll be sharing 20 years of wisdom and techniques of hypnotherapy, law of attraction, visualization, meditation, personal growth, positive affirmations, and other effective methods to help you tap into the great power which resides in your mind and become the best version of yourself. This is episode four, and we're going to be talking about mastering the law of attraction with hypnosis. I want to welcome you to my podcast, and I want to thank you for subscribing to my podcast. I'm really excited right now because this is only my fourth podcast, meaning while I'm recording this episode, there are only three episodes right now available in iTunes. And if you search for Law of Attraction, I'm already ranking number 14. And if you search for Hypnosis, I'm at number 21. And this is a huge improvement over where it was a few days ago. And the number of listeners is also growing day by day. So thank you, because you are the ones who are making that happen and helping me to get this amazing information out into the world. And if you want more high quality inspiration, motivation, like what you're hearing here, you can subscribe to my Hip Talk channel on YouTube, like my Hip Talk page on Facebook, and follow Hip Talk on Twitter and Instagram. And finally, to get your free self-hypnosis video training course, go to hiptalk.com and type in your name and your email address, and you'll immediately gain access to the video training modules there. So once again, welcome to the Power of Your Mind podcast. Today, we are going to be discussing mastering the law of attraction. And I think I've just attracted a cat um, who's sitting on my uh, (laughs) keyboard right now. So anyway, we've got our beautiful gray cat, Emerald, in the studio today, and uh, she's going to be helping us talk about Law of Attraction. So ever since the hit movie The Secret, which you may or may not be familiar with, um, if you are, have never seen that movie before, I would highly recommend that you do so. It's it's actually a wonderful mil- uh, movie, and it uh, really gives a pretty good explanation of law of attraction. There have been lots and lots more people. It's really brought it out to the forefront and it's uh, created a worldwide phenomena. I mean, law of attraction has been around since the dawn of time. And I actually started learning about law of attraction back in the late 80s, um, you know, when I first started getting into self-help, personal development and hypnosis. However, um, I and I would even, you know, use a lot of law of attraction concepts in my hypnosis, you know, talking about raising your vibration and, and feeling and uh, doctor, uh, not not doctor, but um, Shakti uh, Gawain, she wrote a book called creative visualization. And that was really kind of my first real exposure to law of attraction. But now, you know, practically everyone has heard about it. And so it has really taken off, really caused a lot of people to become interested in it and and talk about it. And at the same time, as more people know about it, there's also a lot of confusion about the concept. It's very misunderstood, um, especially even after seeing the movie um, and seeing the genie, people automatically kind of associate the law of attraction with some sort of wishful thinking where you can just kind of, you know, wish for things and, and they happen. And it's not about a genie 
granting all your wishes to come true and all your problems just magically disappear. Obviously, it doesn't happen that way. And so because it doesn't happen that way and because people have an idea that it does, then they automatically just assume that law of attraction doesn't work. But law of attraction is always working. And there are actual things that you need to do in order to experience the richness that's available to you by using law of attraction. So I'm hoping I can kind of dispel some of the myths and help you to understand how to use this awesome power because the thing is law of attraction is real it's working in your life, whether it's working for you or against you, it is always working. So let's talk about later on um, how to implement law of attraction. A law of attraction can be used to attract pretty much anything that you can think of in your life. You can attract better relationships, better health. You can attract more customers. You can attract a job. You can attract more friendships. You can be able to attract your dream home and pretty much anything else that you can think of. So right now, just sit back, enjoy, free your mind from any clutter, and just listen. And that's all you need to do during this episode is just listen. So let's just begin by talking a little bit about what Law of Attraction is all about. It's really amazing. There's so much talk about the Law of Attraction, and few people actually really understand what it is. And I really think people do have this idea that the Law of Attraction is some sort of a spell that you can cast on yourself or other people for that matter. And then all of a sudden things just begin happening. And it's not like that. It's not like you can sit on your couch all day saying, I attract money, I attract love. And then suddenly your soulmate shows up at at your doorstep carrying bags and bags of money. (laughs) It just doesn't really work that way. If it was that simple, then there'd be no matchmaking sites and we'd all be sitting around with bags and bags of money in our mansions with our, uh, our private jets parked outside in our, our, uh, our jet parking lot. (laughs) So, um, but there are many definitions of law of attraction and the most common definition that you're going to find or that I like to say is if you strongly believe that something will happen, it will happen. You will draw that experience toward you. So let me repeat that. If you strongly believe something is going to happen, it will happen. You know, whatever you're thinking about, you're always looking for evidence Um, that that's going to happen if you really believe it. And that goes for bad and that goes for good. And so this, of course, raises a lot of other questions. Is it only what we desire and think about strongly that will happen? Or will things that we don't want to happen, um, will they also happen if we think strongly enough about them? And then there's also the question of the uh, conflict that you have in your mind. You know, at time there could be situations that you think about it equally on both sides. And for example, you might think about a job uh, that you want and you're not sure if it's, you know, if you've locked it in or not, how well you've done. So how do you apply the law of attraction in that case? It, you know, and and really you know, what do you do when you're thinking so strongly about something and someone else is thinking really strongly about that, that same thing? Um, then what happens? Are, you know, is, is one person going to win? Is one person going to, uh, you know, get that thing that you want? And, and the, the fact of the matter is, is that there's plenty to go around of everything. Um, you know, you're, you're not going to be, uh, just because somebody else gets something that doesn't mean that they're taking it away from you. That just means that another experience that are even better is waiting for you. So 
in order to really reply to all those questions, it's important that you first understand what the attraction, what the law of attraction really is. Even though there has been a variety of ways that the law of attraction has been defined, what we're going to do is we're going to break things down into the following four elements. So first, you must know exactly what you want. How can you attract something if you don't know what you want? The next thing is you must begin a thought process for it and begin asking the universe to make that happen for you. And you can substitute the word the universe with your subconscious mind or with God or with, you know, whatever, but it is the deeper part of you ultimately that you're connected to that's going to help you to figure out how to manifest this thing. You don't have to figure it all out in your own conscious mind. Third, you must visualize yourself already in possession of what it is that you want. You must live that in reality. And finally, at the same time, you have to detach yourself from what might happen. In other words, you need to Think about having it, and there's absolutely no room for doubt about whether or not you're going to have it or not. This doubt causes you to move into a bad vibration and fear, and that is not going to help attract what you want. The law is all about feeling and vibration and what you're imagining is going to happen. So you need to be able to let go of how it's going to come about because that only creates negative feelings and negative thoughts about it. So we're going to talk about various aspects of the law of attraction over the next few minutes and how to apply it to any area of your life. And I leave you with this question. Can you become rich just by thinking about it. You're going to need to understand how the law of attraction works a little bit better in order for you to truly have an answer to that question. Introducing Hypnosis Stream, the most powerful tool for personal growth. Hypnosis Stream gives you unlimited access to hypnosis sessions designed to reprogram your mind for success. Gain access to free step-by-step training in self-hypnosis and learn to use the power of your subconscious mind. Listen anywhere, anytime, as many times as you want. Connect with friends to help motivate each other to achieve your goals. Download Hypnosis Stream and get your free hypnosis session today. So welcome back. You're listening to Power of Your Mind podcast. And today we're talking about the law of attraction. So now we're going to talk about the five steps you need in order to manifest your desires using law of attraction. Here are the five things you need to do in order to manifest your desire through the law of attraction. And you might want to get a pen and write these down or just replay the podcast next time and get a pen then. So the first thing that you need to do is believe. Okay, you have to ingrain the thought of your desire into your subconscious mind. And that's why hypnosis works so well with the law of attraction. Hypnosis works by itself, law of attraction works by itself, but when you put the two powers together, whoa, it's uh, pretty powerful. So you have to think unwavering thoughts that you will be able to attain the thing that you're wanting to have happen. The next thing, the next component is visualize. It's very, very important for you to actually visualize. Spend a little time each day visualizing this thing coming to you. You have to think about that thing as if you are already in possession, uh, in possession of it. And you have to like, see yourself interacting with it as if it's happening right now, you have to be very strong in your belief 
and in your visualization. And that's the best way to accomplish using law of attraction to manifest all your desires. Okay, now this next one is so important. Be grateful. Taking your belief to the next level, you need to actually be thanking the universe for granting this gift to you. Think about you've already had it and you need, you want to put yourself in that feeling state as if it's already happened. You know, the money may not be officially deposited in your bank account, but you have no doubt that it's there, that it's happening, that it's coming. So you need to be absolutely so certain that you're getting what you want, so certain that you feel grateful. So that's the next logical step. Then you want to listen to your intuition. Okay, so this is the fourth step. Listen to your intuition. And that's where, see, you don't have to know the how this is going to happen because once you really start planting the seed and believing, visualizing, being grateful, you're going to get intuition, creative ideas that are going to come from your subconscious mind, from the universe, from God, from wherever that place is that you believe, but that place you're tapping into that by believing, visualizing, being grateful. That's the communication that needs to take place in order to activate your creative imagination, your intuition. And your intuition is going to tell you a lot of things. Your intuition is going to tell you to do certain things. So whatever you do, do not ignore this energy. Listen to this internal guidance and Make sure that you continue to stay tuned in to your intuition because this is the key to really tapping into and opening the door. And when you validate this by listening to your intuition rather than brushing it off, because some of the ideas that you might get from your intuition might seem a little silly, they may not make sense, but if you are getting ideas from your intuition, then you need to go on to the next step, which is step five, which is to take action. Um, again, this is how you, it's a two-way conversation that you're having here between you and the universe. And, the, you know, it's giving you information and saying, okay, so this is what you need to do in order to make happen that thing that you've been wanting and visualizing and desiring. So you need to take action and you need to never ever give up on this. You need to be re relentless. Um, stopping is not an option here. So you need to have unwavering faith by continuing to really tune into your intuition Continue to visualize, continue to believe, um, you know, look for clarity, look for validation that this thing is happening and, you know, this is going to manifest for you. Now, um, you also don't want to fall into, like when I say be relentless, you, you don't want to confuse that with being detached or I'm sorry with being attached you want to detach you want to detach from any feelings of fear or doubt that it's not going to happen you know and you must know that it's going to happen and it will happen and you know sometimes timing can be the you know, the, the thing that makes people give up and, and get impatient. And this is something that just takes a little practice, being patient. So if you'd like to master, really master at a deep level, using law of attraction to attract your desires to you, to attract money, to attract love, to attract better health, 
You can use my Mastering the Law of Attraction hypnosis session, and soon you're going to find that it's so much easier to attract your desires than you ever thought. In this hypnosis session, my calm and soothing voice is going to bring your mind and body into a total state of relaxation. You can walk through all the phases of resistance and prepare your mind to accept new beliefs that can raise your vibration and make following the law of attraction absolutely effortless. Soon after starting the hypnosis program, you will attract prosperity to your life. You can see this in your love life as you find people that you meet are much more suited to who you are and what you want. The job offers that you get are a better fit for your lifestyle and your education level and maybe even paying better than the jobs that you thought that you wanted. You may find your dream house is just two streets up the block from where you've been trying to buy for the last year. There is absolutely no limit to what can happen when you use this hypnosis program for 30 days and harness the power of attraction and naturally change your life in ways that you never imagined possible. So if you want to make law of attraction work in your favor, get your copy of Mastering the Law of Attraction and use the discount code PODCAST and get 35% off. And one of the modules available to my VIP members of Personal Growth Club is on activating the law of attraction. So get your seven-day trial for just $1. And finally, you can listen to the session on Mastering the Law of Attraction with your monthly subscription to Hypnosis Stream. Download the Hypnosis Stream app for free from the iTunes store and check it out. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please share it with your friends. And once again, be sure to subscribe to the Power of Your Mind podcast, if not already. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and sign up for your free self-hypnosis video training course at hiptalk.com. Our next podcast is going to be on how to meditate, and it's a really exciting episode. I can't wait to share this wonderful process and technique with you, so be sure to watch for that episode, and I'll be talking with you soon. You've been listening to the Power of Your Mind podcast with Victoria Gallagher, brought to you by HipTalk.com, Hypnosis Stream, and Personal Growth Club.